Hello, Master. Hi, Master. <laughs> Hello, guys. Uh, how many are you today? Uh, we have four. Uh, four? Good enough. Yes. Yeah, good enough. Uh, we don't always have time. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Even I don't have time, but what to do? I have to sacrifice sleep and food. Meal time, I mean. But today I'm very happy. <laughs> how oh, are you guys? Yeah, we're good, Master. Thank you. I'm glad you're nice feeling you. better or feeling happy today. Yes. What makes you so happy, Master? My uh, dehumidifier works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky day, because some other time it didn't work, I have to keep emptying the bucket of water. Oh. Yeah, today it just works. <sighs> mm, happy news. And also, I can cut my toenails today. Wow. Oh. wow. What a lucky woman. Very lucky, Master. Very. <laughs> if I can do something like that for myself or something works, I don't have to labor, bring in the bucket outside, empty it and bring it back in again. <laughs> yeah. I feel very happy, lucky. <laughs> How are you guys? Yeah, we're yeah, doing we're very good. good. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Did you take the medicine that I ordered? Oh, yes, we did. For three yes. days. It doesn't taste too bad, does it? No, uh, no, we like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good medicine to take, no? Yes, yes. it is very good. I mean, it tastes so good, right? Yes, yes it master. Does, master. For what I remember before, if they did exactly like my recipe, then it should be good. It does taste yes, good, does. Master. Yeah? Yes. Take for three days, or oh? How many days already? Three days yesterday. Done, yeah? Done, yes. Three times a day. Done yesterday? Yes. Oh, wow. You don't miss it? We do. <laughs> Are you doing? I wanted to ask for more today. Then you can order again next. Yeah, you can drink it. It doesn't matter. It's no harm, though. Right. Okay, you can order more. Okay, Master, we will. But it's sweet, huh? Yes, it is. Don't drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good, but it's not for pleasure, okay? That's right, Master, yes. One cup. Okay, yes. One cup, I mean bigger cup. Not the mug cup. <laughs> <laughs> a cup that you drink tea with? China cup? Yes, master. Yes. The type of cup. And one cup every time. Three, four times. Yes, master. On an empty stomach before meal, so it's better. You can take it on an empty stomach or just before the meal, so that it goes into your blood before everything else. Yes, yes master. master. Uh, my God. I really don't like it when things mess up. Just because some of the Soccer residents don't listen to me. They go out and they don't wear protective gears. Yes. yes. And then if they wear masks, they don't wear the odds to the nose. Right. Uh-huh. You have to cover the nose. Yes, yes master. master. Otherwise, it's useless. That's right. Yes. Master. Of course, when you talk, you transmit also, but when you breathe in, it's the same. Yes. yes. And the best also is to cover the face, face shield and mask and wear these half mask suits. Yes. Yes, master. Jumpsuit, right? Yes, master. Sorry, jumpsuit. Like pilot? Yes. Uh, pilot suit. I mean, uh, ordinary pilot, not the commercial pilot. Right, master. Because then they will have to wear their Western suit, normal suit. Yes. But normal pilot, I mean, uh, classic, they just wear a jumpsuit. Yes, master. That will be more protection than just wearing the mask. Right. Yes, yes, master. master. Yes. Because some of them transmit to the eyes and to the ears or something, to all the parts of the face. Yes. And then it will go into the ears or the eyes. It will also make trouble. Oh, my God, talking about that. We have so many uh, things, many bacteria or virus nowadays, like even cut my controlling virus as well. Wow. Oh, God, it's, it's spreading all over. Wow. They say something like 30% of people have got it. Wow. wow. And when you get it, you got it for life. Nothing can completely uh, eliminate it. Wow. Oh. It's terrible. And uh, other brain-affecting virus, and then now there is monkey virus. Oh, my God. And uh, what is the new jumping worm, which are very invasive, and they're eating up all this stuff in the garden as well. And what else? A herpes virus is awakened again. Oh, my gosh. I never heard about that before, but it's terrible. They say awakened, meaning they had it before, and now it came back. And, of course, with salmonella in America, they recall a lot of peanut butter even. My God. Wow. Can you believe that? Peanut butter is supposed to be vegan. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And now you can't even eat that. Wow. 
Because the... salmonella, how can salmonella get into peanut butter? I don't understand it. Wow. When they work in a company, it must be very hygienic, no? Yes, yes must. Yes, but be. isn't salmonella uh, eliminated mm. during cooking and all that? Supposed to be, yes. Oh dear. I don't know how they handle it to make salmonella creep in the end. So many I recall. Oh God. And they even make some baby formula which harms babies. My God, it looks like our world is getting worse and worse. Doesn't get any better or what? Oh man. Oh. And now we have a hunger crisis looming because of the war in Ukraine. Yes, that's yes, right. The UN says that because of the war in Ukraine, one billion seven hundred million people could go hungry. Wow. Yeah, especially those vulnerable countries. And if they don't have food supply, then what can they do? Yes, Master. Yes, master. I suggest that any country, in whatever possible way, try to find a way to cultivate their own food from now on. Otherwise, if just relying on imports and exports, then I think you'll be in a hunger crisis. Yes, yes Master. master. War can just break out any time according to the karma of humanity. Because if you continue killing animal people, then there will be always continuous war. Yes, that's yes. right. If not here, then there. That's right. Yes. Master. It doesn't have to hit the countries that eat the most meat. It's not necessarily like that. It just hits anywhere. Yes. Yes. It's just like I told you before. Our body has different organs and different parts. And if one part of the body hurts, it could affect other parts. Yes, that's yes. true. Yes. It doesn't break out that. It doesn't look like it's affecting that concerned part, but it breaks out somewhere else. Yes, yes master. master. That's right. Oh. And then, uh, oh dear God. So every country should try to cultivate their own food, if they can. Huh? I mean, they should find a way to do it. In some of the areas, like arid areas, where there's not a lot of water, they can try to find some suitable materials, like, uh, for example, quinoa. Yes. yes. It can grow in a dry and sandy area even. Yes, Master. Right. Also, peanuts can grow in dry and sandy areas. Yes, yes right. Master. Watermelons also can grow in sandy areas. Yes. Wow. Even on sandy beaches. Yes, yes Master. Master. Maybe not right on the beach, but <laughs> <laughs> sandy areas near the beach. I mean, they have to trying to study what kind of food is suitable for their own countries or part of their countries. Right. Otherwise, just relying on one country or two countries to supply most of their needs, then they will be in trouble, just like now. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, sir. It's true. I read in the news, it says that in only 10 weeks, this crisis will manifest itself already. 10 weeks, the hunger crisis will be there already. Oh, my oh, gosh. My God. <laughs> I mean, why? So much beautiful, good quality wheat and cereal and the other supplies laying in Ukrainian storage, waiting to be rotten. Yes. If it's not rotten, then they probably have to burn it to make space for the next harvest coming soon. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. It looks like we cannot run anywhere to escape all this karma. And to make the matter worse, I saw some uh, satellite images showing that the Russian army, they uh, uh, share those wheat uh, storages. Oh, yes, that's right. I saw that. And the wheat was just flying in the air. Yes. You can see it even from the satellite, the color of it. Uh, and also, the Russian army stole a lot, a lot of wheat from Ukrainian storage as well and stole their farming equipment. Yes. They truly want to starve the world to death. Not only harming or killing the Ukrainians, but killing the world's citizens all over, everywhere. At least they say about 100 countries are affected. Wow. Imagine, that's one half of the world. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Mm. In the world, we have like 195 countries or regions all together. And 100 countries are affected. Imagine how much is that? So the UN estimates already 1 billion, 700 million will be in hunger crisis. Wow. Mm-hmm. And Putin doesn't care. 
It's terrible. Nobody cares. They don't want to sell the war in Ukraine quickly so that people will have enough food to eat. Oh, my God. And all this pandemic and disease and closing businesses and warring and everything already. And they were calling a lot of turkey people to chicken people somewhere because of bird flu as well, not just all the viruses that I mentioned before. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. There are also some other sometimes mysterious diseases. They call it Havana syndrome oh, oh. because people discover it in Havana, but it's not Havana stuff. Yes, yes, yes sir. It has nothing to do with Havana. Mm. <coughs> I told you guys, you have to listen to what I say. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, but some just don't care, and then it becomes my habit. And when it's an emergency, you just continue that way, then you could die. You have trouble. Oh, my God. I just take precautions, and I'm really worried, that's all. Yes, yes, yes you understand, Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. 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 I just pray that everything will be better otherwise. Truly, I, I cannot cope all the time. For one person, many things.